I'm Insomniac and this is a wooden watch. Have you ever owned a wooden watch? If so, let me know what it was down in the comments, I'm curious. Also, remember that the watch specs are all now down in my video description. So this actually isn't the first wooden watch I've done on this channel, but this one is definitely interesting in both good and bad ways. Let's look at all the sections and you'll see what I mean. The case on this watch, despite being a bit too large in my opinion, is actually very nice. Although don't ask me what kind of wood it is, the ad for this watch mentions black sandalwood, which we can assume is the dark wood used for the bezel and bracelet center links, but for the case material they just literally have it listed as wood. Anyway, the machining of that wood is actually very well done. The shape is nice and uniform all the way around, and the whole case is smooth to the touch. No rough spots or sharp edges, which is very nice. Case back is also very nice, with this kind of tree logo engraved into it, as well as generic but mostly true phrases about the watch around the outer edge. Overall, I do like this case. The dial on this watch is by far the biggest disappointment of the entire watch. I didn't expect the dial to be made of wood, but somebody explained to me how an aviator style brushed stainless steel dial with orange accents works with a two-tone natural wood case and bracelet. It clashes to the extent that you don't have to be a watch lover to immediately see that they just threw a random dial in here. It's a complete disconnect from the whole natural materials idea that they harp on in the ad. Now with that said, the dial does have a day and date indicator, a small 24 hour track, plus separate hour and minute tracks. But they're arranged in lazily printed redundant rings, starting with a minute track at the outer edge, black 5 minute numerals under that, orange 12 hour numerals under those, then tiny black 24 hour numerals at the center. Then you have printed text under the four layers in the 12 o'clock position with the brand name which is fine, but then in almost microscopic font above the 6 o'clock position it says chronograph. Yeah? Where? The hands aren't bad at all, if you ignore the entire wooden case and bracelet. They match the dial perfectly, and they're the right style and shape to complement the dial design. The whole dial can be summed up in one sentence though. This is the wrong dial for this watch. You have two usable complications on this watch, the day and the date which are two very useful complications. They're a bit small for this dial, but you can read them easily enough. The only issue I'm having is you can see here that the day is in the Spanish abbreviations. I've readjusted that probably 10 times since I've had this watch, and for some reason it keeps reverting back to the Spanish abbreviations on the disc. I own multiple watches that have a bilingual day disc, and I do not have this issue with those watches. So hopefully it's just this watch though, and not a problem with the line. The loom situation here is useless. This watch would have been better off with no loom, honestly. The hands have loom filling, but nothing on the dial does, so you have no point of reference, which means regardless of how well the loom in the hands might be charged, you can't tell the time on this watch in the dark. Time at a glance is excellent. The handset is long enough that it almost reaches out to the outer minute track. The hands all have very nice tips to them. The dial layout is neat and simple and you have great contrast between the hands and markers against the light stainless backdrop, so it's easy to find the time on this watch at a quick glance. This brand doesn't tell you who manufactures this movement, but they do tell you that it's a Japanese quartz movement, and although it looks a bit sloppy with occasional springy stops and lazy movement with the second hand, the watch has been perfectly accurate to the minute in the week or more that I've had it here. The bracelet on this watch is another big, sad point of disappointment. But just like with the nicely done case that has that random out of place dial slapped in it, the links for this bracelet are very nice. They match the case perfectly, the machining is neatly done, and it's sanded or polished perfectly smooth so it feels comfortable on the wrist. Then it starts to go severely downhill from there, starting with this clasp. It's actually not a bad clasp. The push button system works well and feels stable when snapped in place, and the mechanism actually doesn't feel cheap or flimsy at all, but with no fine adjusters at the clasp, I found it impossible to set the size right for my standard 7 inch wrist. The links are fairly long, so with it sized the way I have it here, it's too tight to wear comfortably. But if I add one link, it's too big on the wrist and it tends to flop around all day. Fine adjusters here were a must and they didn't add any. But the biggest issue here is actually sizing the bracelet. It uses standard push through pins, which I've used more times than I can count, but push pins in soft wooden links were a terrible idea. 
Some of them were stuck in the wood to the point where I couldn't get them out with my bracelet sizing rig, while others started to move, but the pin on my sizing tool actually started to move above the push pin in the link, which started to make the holes in some of the links misshapen, and then the pin would start to bend. One of the pins was so stuck in the wood, I'm guessing from swelling of the wood, that one of the screw-on pin pushers on my rig snapped clean off inside the link, and it's still in there. Sizing the bracelet was a nightmare and the wood used for these links is definitely too soft for push pins. They should have went with screw pins or some other kind of joiner. Last but not least, we have value. This watch sells on Amazon for $44.99, but as of the time of this video, the person who sent this in actually gave me a discount code that you can use on Amazon to get one of these, and that will be down in the video description along with the link. How much money do you save? Who the hell knows? Because the person who sent it to me didn't bother to actually tell me how much you save. So I guess go plug in the coupon and you'll find out once you enter the coupon code. Either way, I can make this conclusion short and sweet for you. $45 is not a lot of money for a watch, but the only people who are going to be able to appreciate this are people who are not quote unquote watch guys. It's a cool novelty if you can get the bracelet sized without destroying it and if you don't care that the dial doesn't actually match the rest of the watch at all. It's honestly a shame because all of the wooden parts, the wooden parts which is the main kind of foundation of this watch, are all very well done. It seems like somebody actually cared about the main foundation of the watch, which is the case in all of these lengths. Not only do they look good, they're smoothed, well machined, well sanded or polished, whichever method they used. It's even, I didn't mention this earlier in the video, but it's really, really light on the wrist. And not light like cheap, light like weightless. Like, honestly, it's nice to wear. Minus the fact that I couldn't get mine sized properly. But the rest of this is honestly just slapped together random parts which really don't come together to equal a pleasing experience. If you want to see my review on another wooden watch, click here.